Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the stream. Good start of the week here. I hope you guys are in kindred spirits as well. We're gonna be starting out the day here by marking out this little regression channel here. We're gonna switch it into regression mode and arm it in both directions. Obviously, these are only visual, by the way. So this is just to help you guys visualize what I'm seeing in regards to regression or trend selection. Looks like we haven't had a ton of movement before I started trading, so we'll see how it goes. If we close out of this bar, we're gonna switch into trend. Closed out of it, switching it over to trend mode. These were so far back that they are not of relevance anymore. I don't know why they're still on the screen. Apparently uh, my streaming says that my internet isn't great. I hope that quality is still looking fine on you guys. End. Get filled into our first trade here, long fill, and we get filled on that very, very quickly up to $500 on the day. Get a consecutive fill, again, this time long. We'll see how this one goes. We get moved up to our auto chase. And we get filled on that one pretty quickly as well. Our pro total profit on the day is up to 1,026. See there that we were just chilling out. We didn't think there was gonna be any movement and then we got kind of an explosive burst upward with two consecutive fills. That's what's nice about this. You don't have to be as mentally present. I mean, if I had just been watching there, that little lull in volatility would have been a little bit deceiving and I probably wouldn't have been waiting to hop into a trade there. But fortunately, we got automatically put into that. Get filled short here based off those two short imbalances. We get moved up to our auto chase or moved down. And after about 30 seconds, we get filled on that one as well, bringing a total profit up to 1500 on the day. As long as we maintain delta price correlation and we don't see any adjacent bars being formed besides this one, we're gonna keep it in trend mode. But if we start to see some chop form, we'll need to consider that a new regression channel. You can see here that we closed red, but we're opening blue we may consider this zone a support area. So we did not get put into a new regression zone, so I'm glad we didn't switch into regression. We're still keeping it in trend. However, if we close red, we are gonna see our first delta divergence here if we maintain positive delta. Also guys, I have some exciting news. In regards to the machine learning update, we have trained it to the point where we can possibly implement an automated trend regression switch at some point in the future. This won't be included with the initial update at the end of the month, but I just wanna let you guys know that this is something that's, been, that's now feasible. I know you guys have been asking for that for a while now. One of the main issues that we were encountering before that is that it just wasn't doing it with the same quality that I would be doing a manual trend regression switch, and I just didn't wanna sell you guys something like that, but now with machine learning, we think that we've been able to iterate it to be actually even better than my own decision making. So stay tuned for the future updates on that. It won't be included initially. That's still a very, very early stage development. Just wanna let you guys know about that. Looks like here we get filled into a short trade. I wanna uh, make this very clear if we get, okay, if we got stopped out on that, we would have switched it into regression as this would have confirmed a new channel zone right here, a regression channel. But as you can see, we're gonna continue this downward movement here. Almost, there's no reason to be to consider any previous zones, especially if we're moving all the way down. So we're just gonna keep it in trend mode as is until we see some kind of resistance. Kind of an area here where we're not getting any price movement. Market's been pretty slow, but um, we've fortunately been able to scalp some profit. Regardless, haven't had a loss today yet. Starting to see our first sign of a reversal. I think that if we close upward here and we had negative delta, I think that's definitely gonna confirm a regression mode switch. Pretty sharp downward move there. We may have also switched to regression there, but we'll see. Pretty slow mood Monday, to be honest. Usually Mondays after the weekend, of course, are pretty volatile, but not seeing that trend continue. I didn't look at pre-market or at market open today. I don't know if it was kind of explosive. That could be an explanation. Get filled here into a long regression trade. Obviously gonna be around me. We are all the way up to our cha auto chase for our stop loss, and we get filled on that one quite quickly as we got entered. So that puts us up to $2,500 on the day. Gotten a lot of questions asking what I personally do with my stock portfolio compared to my futures one. 
What I have to say about that is my stock portfolio is definitely geared to be long term. It's outside my area of expertise in the sense that I'm not as good at it as my futures trading and I'm not going to try to be. And also the tax disadvantages of actively trading stocks are much higher than they are for futures. So you don't get any penalty for trading futures actively. You actually have a 60 40 tax advantage where 60 percent of your profits are taxed as long term capital gains and then the other 40 percent is taxed as regular income. I'll give me that in a second. We actually get filled into a regression short there and then we win that trade pretty quickly. But anyway, I will hedge by using options, but I won't actively open and close actual stock positions. So that's kind of the extent of what I use. I, I like to hold long term, at least for over a year generally, just because the tax advantages aren't there on that on, on stock trading. You can see there we won a consecutive trade. Put it up to 3,500 on the day. Today we actually haven't lost a trade yet, even though it's a little bit boring. We're not seeing a ton of explosive movement, but it's consistent enough to make very strong profit. So guys, I'm sorry if my voice isn't super clear. I'm still recovering from my illness. It's not COVID, but it's been sticking with me for over, over two weeks now, so that's kind of unfortunate. I think that for future streams, I am gonna leave the Q&A open so I can at least answer some questions while you guys, or while nothing's happening in the market, just when there's downtime. I think that would help us with viewer engagement, and I think it would help you guys out a lot too. Looks like we get filled into a short trade here, confirming this level. Pretty quickly, auto chase happens, and we get filled on that just as fast. I really do like this strategy of hyperscalping, where they're really, really fast-paced trades, where you're in and out very quickly, and it really does take advantage of market microstructure moves. It's been really, really consistent for me, and hope it is for you guys too. Get filled here into a trade. The one was short, and then we get Filled on that pretty quickly. Pretty stellar trading day, guys. Not a single loss so far. Definitely better compared to Friday, uh, where we really struggled in the beginning and it was kind of a fight all the way up to our profit target. It's always good to have days like these to remind you of mean regression, where statistically you will average out to your win rate over the course of a large number of trades or the law of large numbers. Just gonna expand the screen a little bit for you guys. I always forget that it's a little bit smaller on YouTube than it is on my massive monitor. I have like a 40 inch monitor. I'll give it another few minutes. Generally when I'm this close to my goal, I don't like to go through long waiting periods without trades, but um, just so you guys know what I'm, I'm thinking regarding that. We're really starting to see a slowdown in the market here. Wouldn't be surprised if we got filled right around here because we've seen consecutively bar over bar over bar that every time it reaches this range, there's usually some kind of short move. Yeah, look at that. So we get put into a short trade there. Just gonna wait this one out. We might take our first loss of the day here. It's probably gonna be a big loss at that because we didn't get our auto chase. Oh, look at that. We get our auto chase shortly after that. All right, I'm actually really surprised that we won that trade. So that puts us up to 48.87. That is close enough to 